Hello everyone and welcome, my name is Vincent and this is a quick tutorial on how to fix the broken stage object in Cinema 4D. And with the help of Max's plugin, we are now able to render again two different cameras into one scene. So we are now in Cinema 4D 2024. And how we used to render scenes with two different cameras when you didn't want to split your scene, especially now the scenes are getting really bigger with a lot of dynamics going on, especially with soft bodies. Scenes can be like two or three gigabytes big. So I only want to save one scene. Until 2022, you just could drag your camera in here, give it a keyframe, just move one frame forward, change the camera, give it a keyframe, and you will see what happens. So we did some keyframes here. Let's press play. Nothing happens. Still the same camera, even though we have keyframes, which is really annoying. And in 2023, we had the issue that the preview worked with the with the uh, keyframes, but when you were rendering, it was only rendering the first camera, which was even more annoying because I wasted really a lot of render hours that I forgot that the stage object doesn't work anymore. So we can get rid of this crap. And luckily we got something super cool from Max. Aka Todos998, so give him a follow on Instagram, I think he will be more than happy for this. And he wrote a little script, it basically is the same as the stage object, but it works. So that's super nice. You can just download the file and I will put the link in the description. Now when you open this, you get this thingy, copy paste it into the scene where you're working with. Then you need to go down to the object camera selector for the Python, so you just need to Turn on the execute button, so it's active now. Let's redo this again, so to clear this, we just put our cameras in there. For example, I use my close-up camera till frame 150. Just give it a keyframe, then one frame forward. By the way, the shortcut is G, just to save some time. Put in the other camera, give yourself another keyframe, and now everything works how it used to work. That's super nice, saves you a lot of space and saves you some time. And that's already it for the quick tutorial. So thanks for watching and listening and see you around. Bye bye.